This is Bloom Perfume, right? Oh, we'd like to introduce our new edit and sample pack every month we explore a theme and in April we've been exploring roots. There aren't many in perfumery, there are two major ones, uh, Oris, that's the root of Iris. So when you see Iris in the description of the formula, it's always the root of that flower. It's never the floral uh, part or the floral aroma. It's a woody, musky aroma of the root. Then you have vetiver. Uh, vetiver comes from uh, tropical climates such as Indonesia, India, Madagascar, whereas iris grows in south of Italy, maybe south of France. Then you have Angelica. Angelica likes climates like ours. Uh, the perfume with Angelica we have comes from Dorset. Then you have ginger. Ginger grows probably uh, next to vetiver, uh, same kind of um, geography. Um, more exotic options, we were able to find a perfume with calomel, that's also a root. Um, Asafatida, before I explored that, uh, I didn't even know what that is. So the pack will feature a perfume to illustrate the use of every um, root we could uh, find in perfumery. And let's uh, quickly uh, describe what they are about. So Oris. Oris is a classic material. Most roots are base notes and Oris is the star base note. Before we had synthetics, it was one of those notes which would enable perfumers to create the formulas which are long-lasting, which are expansive and let's say luxurious. So a good example of the use of Oris and um, the way it smells is Naomi Gutsu's Iris Syndrome. It's leathery, it's musky, it smells very much like the warehouse where they keep Oris roots uh, drying and where they then pulverize them to turn them into or extract them. So it's musky, it smells a bit like warm skin. It's dense as well. Somehow, Oris aroma is uh, one of the thickest, but not in a cloying way, in a very confident way. And Naomi is a master of vintage. She guides her perfumers uh, towards the era when perfumes were true luxury to show off on special occasions. Then, Vetiver. Vetiver, on the contrary, is quite a uh, versatile everyday material. It's a staple in lots of masculine formulas. It smells much lighter than Oris. Um, it gives, if you're a perfumer, it gives you several options. You can take it spicier, you can take it greener, you can uh, potentially explore the earthy nuance of Vetiver. But here they stayed within the woody potential and they paired Vetiver with Black tea, so it's dry, good for every day, and it's a quite zingy, it's quite uplifting. Then, moving on, the probably third most popular uh, root in perfumery, ginger. Ginger tastes one way, but it smells um, in a different way. Uh, imagine you, you found a very old book and you are tearing pages out of that book. Not that you should do it. But if you do, that kind of old paper, sweet, vanillic dust, this is what ginger smells like in perfumery. And the perfect perfume to illustrate uh, that effect would be Fareb by Parfumerie Generale. Even though they give you a bonus in this formula, it's about the journey of ginger from like freshly uh, extracted from the uh, ground to being ground into powder. So first it smells fresh and juicy, and then gradually it sort of travels into a dry, spacious, uh, powdery kind of effect. It's quite an interesting perfume, uh, if spicy is your thing. Then Angelica. Angelica in this perfume comes from Dorset. A uh, company who made this perfume uh, is called Parterre. 
They grow lots of materials they use themselves, and they're quite adventurous. Sometimes they grow materials never grown on this island, such as Vetsi. Yeah? If you try their other formula called um, the root of all goodness, in that one you can check what British vetiver smells like. But this one is about Angelica. Angelica is probably the most uh, green root out there. Ooh. It's very planty. It's like you're rubbing leaves in between your fingers. I'm sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> um, uh, maybe it's the aromas. So if you want to attract squirrels, Angelica is a good one. Uh, Angelica aroma is a good one. It smells yummy. So it smells somewhere between green leaves, fresh earth warmed by the sun, and a little bit of spiciness. But it's better to smell than to uh, imagine it. So in the pack uh, I'm introducing, you also have a sample of this perfume. Then more exotic, more rare options. Calamine. Calamine is an ancient material mentioned in Bible alongside um, myrrh and frankincense but somehow it's not used uh, too often or oh, it's used very rarely I would say but we do have one uh, perfume Black Calamine by Connor and if we were to believe them if it's really about Calamine Calamine is leathery woody and then you have that strong wine nuance. It's quite tart and fruity. It's beautiful. It's not challenging at all. It's just a aroma or a composition which is not mainstream. And we'll have a sample of it too in the pack. Tara Mantra, a truly exotic option. Hing or Asafatida. Uh, why would someone use Asafatida which smells a bit sulfurous? Uh, let's say, on the border of being pleasant. Um, the story. The story is about high-altitude uh, temple somewhere in Tibet. It's about ink used to write sacred um, texts. Um, it's about wood used as incense in those uh, remote locations. So I would say it's a proper story which wants you to travel there. And a bit of a shock, olfactive shock. Uh, using materials which make you focus and forget what's going on around you could be very useful and as a fact is one of them so this is it not too many uh, two popular ones two widely used roots and a bit more rare kind of puffs um, you can get the pack from our website bloomperfume.co.uk there's also a corresponding edit where you can read about these materials how they derive what they could be used for by our perfumers and we have many more edits uh, featuring um, classic materials from incense to vanilla to uh, modern aroma chemicals such as uh, hedion and um, is a super and Kashmiran. So we uh, always do a lot of research um, before we put our packs together. We ask perfumers, uh, even the volumes they use the certain material uh, as in a certain formula. And every pack is a journey. Every sample is good for about three to four days um, of application. And then you can move on to a new adventure and do explore the old sensory kind of adventures, delightful and uh, fascinating. And see you on our website and eventually see you in our shop in London. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.